morning, Bellows Falls and Rockingham, and welcome to the feed. Here we are. It's January 12th, 2022. I've been counting everything 2021, but I'm trying to, to move up to the next year. So we're 2022. We're here today with John Marston. We're going to talk about um, Leslie's. We're going to talk about cooking classes. We're sure. going to talk about the economy. We're going to talk about world events. You name it, we'll, we'll be talking good. about it. Sounds good. Um, Marty's on, on the Zoom. So, uh, hi, Marty. How are you doing today? Good morning. Uh, what do you have for local events? Okay. So, local events at the Opera House for Classic Movie Night. Uh, this Wednesday is Chinatown, and it's sponsored by Morgana Mysteriosa and Ned Green. Um, all seats are $6, and it starts at 7 o'clock. Um, we don't have the what's playing at the movies this weekend because I can't find it on Facebook. So <laughs> I guess I'll have to check out Facebook to see what's playing this weekend. And um, BIFTA, Bellas Falls Downtown Development Alliance, is looking for some help this weekend. They're going to be taking down the garland, the lights, the snowflakes, all of the holiday decorations that they put up. And um, as the saying goes, many hands make light work. So if you come uh, check out the BIFTA website, um, and they'll tell you, I believe, I believe it is Saturday morning at um, nine o'clock, but um, you can check the website to make sure. And certainly if you had time, it would be, you know, um, they would certainly appreciate, appreciate the help. That's good. Um, Everything that's looks so nice. all I got. Oh, good. Um, just another sort of public service uh, preview is um, Marty and I and the feed and, and everyone is going to, there's the elections are coming up in March and we want to um, invite people who have issues and want to talk about those issues to contact us on the feed. We also want to invite people who are running for office to contact us because it, typically we have interviews with people and, and um, do some, you know, PSA work, some public service announcements and get the word out so we everyone knows the issues. One of the issues that's coming up is the idea of having retail marijuana sales in Bellows Falls. Uh, Marty and I and Alex are working with some local groups to talk about that and have a forum and get the issues and the and the um, sort of the facts out ahead of time. So if you're interested in that, stay tuned. But today we have John Marson with us. Hi, John. How you doing? Well, first of all, Marty, Mike, thank you for having me. Yeah. It's uh, it's it's great to be back. Uh, it's been a couple of years pre-COVID, actually. Yeah. So. Um, you know, we, uh, we do cooking classes, and the whole thing with cooking classes is to uh, get the word out that we're back doing that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so the network that we're trying to create, because we kind of lost it with last year, we didn't do any. And um, so it's that trying to recreate that continuity that we lost right, right. Uh, is, um, you know, so we, we did a class uh, Monday night with a, a great group of nine people uh -huh. and uh, all local people that uh, said, you know, we're going to tell other people yeah. that we had a good time. And, and, and the class was one of those classes where, as I mentioned earlier, that everybody really enjoyed everybody else's company uh -huh. and they had fun. And the, the key word <coughs> is fun they had it fun. is and people you know in this day and age uh unfortunately that seems to be a hard thing to come by so yeah. you know it was great so for full disclosure i guess is um both marty and i at different times have been to john's classes and to say that they're cooking classes doesn't give doesn't give them justice i mean it's right. just they are really an event, and um, sure. and it's Thank you. you're in John's kitchen, which is is a unique event in itself. And you're in this big it's a I would it's the prep area, but it's like a huge table, and and everyone's sitting around the table, right. and John is cooking for you. Right. And so as you sit as you sit, you get to talk with people, you get to have a glass of wine or a drink sure. or whatever beverage you may like at the time, right. and you go through. A whole meal. It's almost like going through um, six or seven course meal, right. I would say. And it's yep. just, it's 
amazing because it's being prepared in front of you. It's fresh. And then you just get to chat with everybody, and so you get to see what's happening. And it really is just – to call it a cooking class is not – Right. It's not fair. Right. It's, and, it's and not to call it <laughs> it's, it's, it's not school. It's definitely not school. So what we, what we want to do is um, we want you to try a variety of things mm-hmm. that you will say. So, for example, Marty, <clears throat> your sister, her favorite thing was uh, the Korean burger. Ah. Now, the Korean burger has kimchi in it and has things, other things in it, but... But but things that you wouldn't think people would would like or yeah. or probably yeah. do, so it was burger class. You know, people think of beef burger, but we did salmon burgers, we did pork burgers, we did um, <clears throat> uh, smash burgers, but we did other things beside beef burger, right? Mm-hmm. And I mean, you, you know, you can take any protein. We did, actually one of the favorite things was black bean burger. Ooh. And yeah. black bean burger, I started with that, and people, you know, I, I remember a couple of people saying, I don't think I'm going to like this. And mm-hmm. then they liked it the most. <laughs> so it's, um, you know, it, it's, so the other part of that is that, um, so we did six burgers. Mm-hmm. But nobody can eat six burgers in two hours, I don't think. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there are people. Anyway, so they split them. We split them. Yeah. Uh-huh. And, uh, but by the time we got to the sixth burger, you know, mm-hmm. even though, Every, though you'd uh, had, you know, they were. Sitting back from the table a little. You know, little, little. Uh, and then, of course, we had dessert. And <laughs> dessert was, I don't know, something that Leslie put together with, had all kinds of uh, uh, liqueurs and ice cream. Mm-hmm. to make sure that when you left, you were... <laughs> you were feeling all right. <laughs> right, right, right. Not only that, but full. But so we, we have a, a, a variety of classes coming up, you know, and everything is, because of the circumstances today, a little fluid. Uh, we, we had a pasta class from this mm-hmm. coming mm-hmm. Monday, but we, I, 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 because I had a lot of people ask about the burger class that couldn't get in, we're going to repeat it. On Monday, oh, good, good. so if you know anybody that, and then Monday, uh, the following Monday, the twenty uh, fourth is uh, Mexican class, uh-huh. which is always one of my favorites because Mexican food is, you know, is I think it's great, uh, you know, and we don't have Mexican restaurants really yeah, around, we here. Don't around here. So and people like, and then uh, we have a steak class and a Mediterranean class uh, in uh, the end of the month beginning of February, and uh, both of those are full, but if people are interested, I'll repeat it. Uh-huh. Um, so, um, you know, we do ask you to be vaccinated. Mm-hmm. You know, I don't, we don't check your, I mean, it's an honor system, so sure. if you come yeah. in and you tell me you're vaccinated, that's cool. But, you know, because we're in a, like you say, a close proximity. It is close, but it's still spread out. Sure. I mean, you, people, if people are really sort of um, sensitive about that, yeah. then I think you could find space. Yeah. I mean, and, yeah. and like you said, I think everyone, um, the group of people that do this are aware and, and yeah. don't, and are very conscious of this, of what's happening. Sure. And so I'm sure they're, that they're, that they, the vaccine, you know, the vaccination status and stuff is is probably taken sure. care of. Yeah, yeah. Marty, I we, I hate to leave you off because I know that oh, when no you're worries, on Zoom, no you... I'm, I'm enjoying the show. Um, what I wanted <laughs> to say is that how I see the cooking classes, it's like going to a friend's house, hanging out in their kitchen, watching them cook, but picking up cooking tips. And um, I definitely, there's definitely things that I do. Cook. First of all, let me let me preface that with anyone that knows me abs- knows I absolutely hate to cook. So <laughs> if I can make, if I can make cooking quicker and easier, then that's my jam. And there's lots of things that I've picked up in John's classes because chefs are masters at e- making cooking easier. They have to because they have their time. They have to get food out. They have lots of different things. So they have lots of good tips and tricks. And I can, I literally am in my kitchen sometimes recalling something John said and said, oh yeah, this is what you need to do. So I think it's like a win-win. It's, it's friendly, it's fun, and you pick up some skills. You definitely do, yeah. Great. 
Great. Well, you know, I think you encapsulated the whole uh, uh, thing that we try to do is is try to give you, uh, you know, because in 2021, 20, today, uh, there's a ton of uh, internet cooking. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. Blogs and uh, sites. Um, and some are good. Some are not as good. Um, I, I peruse them all, mm-hmm. and uh, we we uh, not all, but uh, and and uh, because there are hundreds, if not thousands, but uh, and and we 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 go through recipes, and I, you know, I can tell when a recipe is like, like a lot of them try to uh, make it a three or four ingredient recipe, uh-huh. so as that um, you can easily make it quickly. Mm-hmm. And that's mm-hmm. that's fine, but we don't do that. We try to we still make it doable, but but we don't uh, take uh, an essential ingredient out of it to make it easy. Right. So you know um, because you can get anything. You can be doing Japanese food, Korean food, I don't, and you can go online and get all those ingredients easily. And if you like it, you'll use all that. So. Right, right. That's a, those are a couple things that you taught me. Is that the, the <clears throat> online ingredient? Um, it, it, you're right. You can get anything. Right. And the other thing that you reminded me is when you go to the, John's classes, you watch and he cooks, but he also gives you all of the recipes that he's developed. Right. And so all of the recipes that you get to see him do and see him create and get to taste. Right. You you walk out with the recipe right. so that you can re- recreate. Right. That was so handy because I, I, I still have those. Like I have the recipes that you cool. cook, cook those because, you know, and maybe it's just me, but once I walk out of something, if I don't have that, sure. I you forget, forget. You know, it. I just right. it's like, I remember he did something, but I don't remember what right. it was. But then you, you give out the sheets that have sure. everything all laid out, how to mm-hmm. do it. And it's really helpful. I mean, yeah. Um, that's another, uh, I guess, an added value of your classes is sure. that you can re- you can replicate them. And um, like Marty said, if you don't like to cook, and I know Marty, she keeps her cooking <laughs> talents under, you know, it's like the candle in the basket or something. I can't remember what that's called. But if you ever want to do a potluck, you should actually have <laughs> Marty. Cause that's, oh, I bet she's... That's her thing. She, she's way better. That's my jam. Potlucks. Love them. <laughs> right, 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 right. <laughs> <laughs> the standing joke, I don't know if it's a standing joke still, but it was, used to, yeah. it was that her contribution to their Thanksgiving dinner was pickles. <laughs> <laughs> that she was yep, invited to bring jars. Uh, uh. So look what you've done to her. You've changed her. Well, I hope so. <laughs> With that, we're trying to be trans, uh, uh, transfer, transformative. Uh, yeah. Transformative. Uh, uh, you know, uh, inspire you to, you know, and that's why we do the cooking classes is to keep us inspired for new ideas. Yeah, yourself, and, uh, right? Yeah. You know, and now I have so many new ideas that I'm not sure which new ideas, you know, f- for example, the burgers. So we, we ask at the end of the class, mm-hmm. which burger was your favorite? And we were all over the board with that. Um, you know, everybody liked something kind of different, which is good in a way. Yeah, yeah. But I was thinking I'd, I'd put a burger on the menu because burgers, for some reason, are really popular with people. And uh, but uh, so you know, I'm, I'm always looking for inspiration, um, and cooking classes are that for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, for chefs, you know, we're always trying to change things up and add new things and you know and and we've been doing the same menu uh since uh takeout uh stopped and takeout did kind of stop yeah you know uh summer uh was it 2020 yeah um the takeout kind of hit the skids because of you know uh people started backyard barbecuing yeah, yeah, yeah and uh and and things in the supermarket were so inexpensive you could buy they had all kinds of deals 
Mm-hmm. And so why would you do takeout if you can go to Shaw's or Hannaford's or Market Basket? And uh, so, um, you know, and then people started coming into the restaurant in, in pretty good numbers. Right. Because uh-huh. they wanted to get out. And, uh, but they didn't want the takeout stuff. Oh, really? They, they wanted didn't the, the want heavy the duty. chicken pot pie. They didn't want the, the uh, <laughs> shepherd's pie. They didn't want the, they wanted the fancy stuff. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. And, uh, and, 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 and that went full cycle, by the way. So that by the time uh, fall uh, 2020 came around, mm-hmm. and then we had to go back in, no, t- uh, no in-house. We had, right, uh, and and so now it's takeout again. So, so now we had to kind of flip back to what we were doing prior mm-hmm. in the spring, and uh, then fast forward to uh, 2021 spring. Uh, May, June, July, August, uh, it was like a tsunami of people coming into the restaurant, and they all wanted the good, st- the, the fancy stuff. Right. I call it the fancy yeah, yeah, stuff. Yeah. But, um, you and, really do that well, though. I mean, I have, you know, that's, yeah, that's right. like if people really want, a fancy, that's, all, yeah, it's always been, at least in our family, yeah, the racks if you really want to do and, something really nice, you right. went to Leslie's. Right, rack lamb or yeah, doc yeah. or, or uh, but whatever. And, uh, you know, the, the, the biggest problem we had, as did everybody, really, uh, every small business or business, was no help. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, so it was a uh, challenging yeah. um, s- summer. Do you see that di- different now? Is it, is it better or is it still bad? Because I, 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 I th- know places are closed now because right. they can't get... They can't get staff. Right. Not that they can't get. I mean, there was a time when people said there were supply chain issues and right. this other stuff, but now it seems places close because they just don't have staff. Well, I, I, I also work a little bit at Okemo. Oh, yeah, yeah. And uh, we have uh, huge staffing issues. And uh, there was some talk uh, early on in uh, November. That we might not have enough people to actually make the mountain work. Yeah. Which is, uh, you know, nobody would ever say that a well, couple of years ago yeah. or ever. And now, you know, it's getting better because we have some of the J5s coming through from Peru and yeah, Bolivia. Yeah, yeah, right. But, uh, yeah, no, I'm fortunately, <laughs> I've gotten some people oh, good to for come you. in and yeah, help me. Yeah, yeah. And uh, so we're, we're okay. We could obviously use more help. But. Right. But I hadn't realized you were still working at Okemo because I've heard those same things. It's, it's the, um, the difficulty both with it because of the immigration issues and COVID. Some mountains, like I read yesterday, where some mountains, because it was cold, didn't even open yesterday. Right. Like Burke decided to just call it a day because right. they would give their staff a break because they'd run them out, and they're hoping right. to get them in for this weekend. See, we can't do that because we have people staying on the mountain. Yeah, at, yeah. In the, uh, yeah. And, and they've uh, already uh, 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 scheduled um, or reserved uh, a lesson tickets and, or, lessons, and tickets yeah, yeah, and yeah. stuff like that. And actually, yesterday wasn't all that bad. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't all that great, but it wasn't <laughs> all that bad. <laughs> Were you out? It, oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was. Um, but, well, but you know, it's funny because the uh, you know people from Maryland and New Jersey and who aren't really accustomed to uh, the cold yesterday, they were fine. Yeah. Oh good. Oh yeah. Good. Because yeah. you know what, people love to ski. They do. And 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 they're having fun. And you know, you the can, cold is. Yeah. That's not going to get in the way. Yeah. Good. That's good. That's excellent. Because I used to work at Okemo too. I know, I know, and it was always amazing how good skiing really makes a difference. Oh, sure. <laughs> when, yeah. when you have good ski, you can really. You know, the, the cold th- goes away. The the, the, the the problem we had yesterday, we got fogged, uh, is that the snow was okay. so cold that you could, you know. To, to actually slide. Oh, really? The slideability. It, you know, there's no moisture yeah, in the yeah, snow. Yeah. And so I had uh, some had people. And, and on the bunny slope, 
you know, with very little pitch. You know, oh yeah, you could. <laughs> it, it was you could hear you could hear the interaction between the ski and the snow. Oh, neat. And it was like um, this strange sound. So we have about four minutes. Left. Okay, sure. So, but we what we didn't talk about is how do people find your site? Okay. On and how do you sign up? Because I know okay. that you've done a lot of events. Okay. On, yeah. So we have to talk about that. Okay. So you know we're Facebook, but. I think there are a lot of people that don't do Facebook, mm -hmm. uh, or some people. And uh, Facebook, you know, we're, we're subject to a lot of uh, media barrage these days. Yes. And uh, Facebook is, you know, one of those. And uh, so people, but that's our one and only, and this, mm -hmm. which uh, is great. But they can always call. And uh, the phone number is on our website. Okay. And we, you know. I think it's up right now. We, we, we will uh, uh, very much uh, talk you through what the classes are. Uh -huh. uh, my wife will. Uh, and uh, so, you know, um, that's about the only way. But, you know, you can always call. Yeah. Okay. And calling is, 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 um, um, is simple enough to do. Right. Um, you know, the Internet, um, you know, I just haven't figured a better way to uh, do it. Right. You know. And I, th I would stress to people that it is important to call and important to let John know what classes you're interested in. Because, like he said, if he has enough interest, he'll schedule more classes. Sure. But, Absolutely. you know, that's one of the things is he lays out the schedule and then he fills them. But if you're interested, he will do more classes. Absolutely. But you have to let him know that. that, that so there's a little bit of responsibility on the side of the sure, consumer sure. also. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and I have to say, as a consumer, I i can't recommend these too much because well, they are just like, so amazing and so much fun. And you get so much out of them. And it is a uh, way... Uh, like Marty said, it's like going with a bunch of friends and sitting around the kitchen right. and cooking and having dinner and right. being social, and it's just it's just amazing. Yeah, yeah. Those Mondays uh, and the previous Monday, a lot of uh, laughter. Yeah. Which, uh, but you know, also too, I had people ask about you know we, we were doing burgers. So how do you cook a burger in house? So we used a, a skillet. Oh, nice. And, uh, but, you know, if you're even, you know, uh, so we did smash burgers. <clears throat> but you want a medium or medium well. Mm -hmm. And if you leave it on that skillet for any too long, now you get a charred exterior, right? Uh -huh. So you throw it in the oven. So that was a technique that, yeah, that, people uh, could that, learn. that that's how most restaurants cook their burgers. You know, they put them they in, the them in the oven. oven. So yeah, it's uh, so the techniques, and you know, one of the things that we uh, emphasize too is that we only use restaurant, I mean, uh, supermarket ingredients. So we're not, mm -hmm. you know, getting exotic things. E everything you can buy at Shaw's or Hannaford's or Market Basket, and um, but there's a uh, we, we the the other thing is that we want you to leave with a lot of confidence uh -huh. that. You can do what we did, mm -hmm. and um, so, so yeah. As you said, uh, you get a booklet with, with step it, by yeah. step uh, instructions. So that's a, uh, you know, that's a uh, a good thing. And I'm getting better at that because uh, I've been <laughs> doing those things. And I've read back a couple of years uh, some of my uh, booklets, and I go, oh my god, that's <laughs> but too it's complicated. You know, I'm trying to simplify it. Uh -huh. And make it so as that you feel like, yeah, I can do this without Marty spending <laughs> two hours prepping in the kitchen and, you know, and thinking it's fun, you know. We, uh, so, okay. Uh, well, we're just about out of time. Okay, sure. And I was just, before I get, because uh, I don't know if you ever watch America's Test Kitchen. Sure. Their yep. things are so complicated. Yeah, it's like you, can't I can't, you have to. Yours, yours, you can do this. You seem to do the same thing, much simpler. And yeah. um, Good. I will just I'll leave it at that because <laughs> um, that's about all the time we have today. And that's it for the feed. We're going to see you next week um, when I'm not sure who's going to be on, but Marty will hopefully be in studio because I like it better. Because all right. 
Good. And Thanks. thank you, John. Thank you, guys. I, All I, right. I super appreciate it. Leslie's. All right. See you guys. Local news, politics, business, sports, arts, music.